This is section 5.6, division of polynomials. Most of this section is about the easy version of division, which is div uh, dividing by a monomial. So this is a polynomial, many numbers, and this is a monomial because there's only one. So if you do this, um, the trick is you're going to split up this fraction. You're going to do a over x, b over x, and c over x. We can do this when there's only one piece in the denominator, which is why it's, it's easier and why we do more of these in this section. So this would look like a over x plus b over x plus c over x. So basically we'll split it up into three pieces and then we'll do with, deal with each piece separately. So for this first example, we're going to do x to the fifth over x squared and then x cubed over x squared. So x to the fifth over x squared plus x cubed over x squared. And now to simplify these, we're going to use the quotient rule, right? Because we have the same base and we're dividing. So this will be x to the 5 minus 2, which is x to the 3rd, plus x to the 3 minus 2, which is x to the 1st. Don't forget, you don't need to write that first power, the 1, so there we go. Um, here we have three pieces we're going to split up. This piece, this piece, and this piece. So we start with, let's see where can I fit this. Uh, let's just jump to it. So let's just do this first piece uh, together. 8 over 2 will be 4, so we'll get 4 y to the fourth over y squared, we're going to do the quotient rule there, so it'll be 4y to the second. That's our first piece. Now the second piece is negative, so let's just put a minus. Then we're going to do 6 over 2, which is 3. And then we have y to the third over y squared. 3 minus 2 is 1, so we just get y to the 1, or just y. And then for our last piece, the 2 over 2 cancels, the y squared over y squared cancels, right? Anytime you have something divided by itself, the whole thing goes away, except it leaves a 1 behind. So we actually have a plus 1. And that is our answer. One more example of this. Here we are. We're going to split it up over these three pieces. Um, I'm going to write this one out for you real quick. 3x squared over 2x plus 2x over 2x minus 12 over 2x. There we go. So 3 over 2, first of all, isn't going to change. So we're kind of stuck with our 3 over 2. But x squared over x, um, don't forget the, the invisible ones down here, and up here I guess. 2 minus 1 is just 1, so we just get x to the first, or x. Plus, here anything over itself is just 1, so 2x over 2x gives us a plus 1. And for this last one, we have a minus, now 12 over 2 is 6, but notice this x is in the denominator, and there are no x's in the numerator. So this x has to stay where it is, it has nothing to interact with. So even though 12 over 2 is 6, that's a whole number, so it's going to go in the top, this x has to stay in the denominator. So this is actually our final answer, because there's nothing else we can combine in this problem. Okay, so now, that was all division by monomial, which is really easy, and to be honest, it's pretty much all I'm going to ask you in this class, but there will be like a couple um, homework problems that deal with division of polynomials without a monomial. This is complicated because you have to do polynomial long division, which is not fun. So here's an example, right? We have this polynomial on top, and instead of dividing it by just a 3x, we're dividing it by a 3x plus 2. This is a binomial now. So we have to do long division, right? The thing on the bottom goes on the outside, we're going to put it into here. Now when you start this long division, you're actually going to ignore the 2, and you're going to ask yourself, what do I multiply 3x by to get a 6x squared? And then you're going to go with it. So let's do it. What do we multiply 3x by to get 6x squared? You will need a 2 and an x. Right? And then we're going to, just like in regular long division, we'll take this, multiply it by this whole piece, put it underneath here, and subtract. So 2x times 3x, that's our 6x squared, plus 2x times 2 is a 4x. Now we have to subtract this whole thing. That's why I'm putting it in parentheses. So the first piece is obviously 0. The second piece is 13x minus 4x, which is a 9x. Bring down your next piece, plus 3, and that's your first round of long division. Now we're just going to do it again until we have um, a remainder or nothing left. So 3x, again we're focusing on the first terms here though, so the question is, what do you multiply 3x by to get 9x? Well, 3x times 3 would get you a 9x, right? Plus 3. Now we'll multiply that, 3 times 3x, that's our 9x, plus 3 times 2 is a 6, we subtract, the 9x's cancel out, 
This last piece, though, we have 3 minus 6, which is a negative 3. Um, we can't bring anything else down, so this is actually a remainder. Our answer is going to be 2x plus 3. And then we're going to write our remainder as a fraction, just like we do in regular long division. It will be our remainder minus 3 over the divisor. And we're going to add that into our answer. So let me show you what that looks like. It will be 2x plus 3 plus our remainder minus 3 over our divisor, which was 3x plus 2. This is our final answer. It's not pretty, but that's what we got. All right, so that's what um, polynomial long division looks like. It's not fun, and it's not very common, so don't stress too much about it. But like I said, there will be a couple of um, problems like that on the homework. Focus on the monomials, right, the stuff we did at the beginning. How do you divide a polynomial by a monomial? That's it for Chapter 5. Let me know if you have any questions, and keep up the good work.